Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Kyra and I make videos all about Chicago, apartment living, and Trader Joe's hauls. These are some of my favorite videos to make, I think because I just really love Trader Joe's and I really love eating and I love trying snacks on camera. So today we have another Trader Joe's haul for you and I'm so excited, we've got some new items, got some staples, all sorts of good stuff. Let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, jumping right into it. First item we got this week was the rolled corn tortilla chips. If you have not tried these, they're like a Taki. These are ridiculously good. I have to be very careful about getting these because they are very easy to eat the whole bag. Alex loves these as a snack though, so we usually get these at least once a month, I probably say. Also for some bags of green this week, I've been doing a lot of salads, especially it's been so hot and humid here in Chicago. It's either pouring with rain or really hot and humid. They're not giving us any in between. So I've been doing a lot of salads. This week I got a bag of baby spinach. I also like to put this in my smoothies which I'm planning on making a lot this week because it's been so hot, but also into salads. I also got a bag of the spring mix. They didn't have any romaine this week and that's kind of been my go-to. So I got a bag of spring mix. This will still be great to make salads with. I think I'm probably gonna have a salad for lunch after this. Then one of you guys reached out, I can't remember if it was in a DM or in a comment, this is my fault, but you guys told me that I needed to try the ghost pepper chips. I've been trying all of Trader Joe's chips and right now, I can't think of the name, but what do they call it? The summer party chips? That's not right. The one that's like a mix of all the chips, like the barbecue, the tomato ketchup, the salt and vinegar and the dill. Can't think of the name. It's called like picnic party or something. Anyways, those ones, so good. The dill pickle ones, so good. These are the ghost pepper chips. I like spicy, so I'm very excited to eat these, but I'm afraid they're gonna be really hot. And also, if they're not really hot, then I'm gonna be disappointed that they're not really hot. So it's kind of a double whammy. Let's go ahead and try these chips right now. Get some fried chips? Yeah. Oh, what? A lattice cut. What an interesting shape for a chip. I thought these were gonna be a crinkle cut. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. People can't see you at all. I'm afraid these are like gonna become spicy. I know, it's not spicy So yet. far, it tastes like a normal chip. It's good, normal chips are good. It's like a very slight, providing a heat, which we can boast. Hotter than a habanero or a jalapeno. They don't taste spicy. Oh, this one looks like it has a lot more flavoring on it. It's hot. Is it gonna get too hot or is it just hot right now? It's hot. It's like a low burn. It is a low burn. It's, it's a interesting. low burn. Well, you know sometimes spicy food, like it feels like hot. Uh -huh. This feels like, oh, I can see where it wants to get there, but it's not quite there. They're definitely good. Mm -hmm. I'm so intrigued by these. Like, it feels like it wants to hurt me, but it can't. All right, those are good. They're not crazy spicy. It's a good heat. It's interesting. Can't quite put a finger on it. I like them. Moving on. All right, we also got the plant-based pork rinds again. These are stupid good. Like, I cannot believe how tasty these are. They feel like you're actually eating like a chicharron, like a pork rind, but they're made of rice and pea protein. So they have protein in them. They're spicy. These are delicious. Highly, highly recommend. Also, I have been on a freeze-dried fruit kick. I've realized I like freeze-dried fruit more than like any candy ever. Like it's the best. I think my favorite are the blueberries. These are so delicious. Last week I got the berry medley. Hold on, I'll show you. I got this berry medley. I like just finished it. It's completely empty. But this was great because it was a blend of the blueberries, strawberries, and raspberries. In eating this, I realized the raspberries were my least favorite of them just because they have the seeds in them and they broke apart really easily. So this week I got just the blueberries and the strawberries. I didn't need the medley. These are the two that I like the most and I'm really, really excited to have these. These are so, so good. Also, I looked at all of the other freeze-dried fruit they had and I wanted to pick up something that I hadn't tried before either. And so this time I got freeze-dried Fuji apple slices. I haven't tried these before, so I thought I'd give these a whirl as well. But these sounded really interesting. The mangoes were good. The mangoes are a little too creamy for me. I like a little more sour. So I don't know how I'm gonna feel about these apple slices, but I'm excited to try. Weird, it looks so strange. It has the peel on it too, which I didn't really anticipate. Oh, I like these. They remind me of an apple chip, but I don't remember ever having a food called an apple chip, but I feel like this is an apple chip. You wanna come try this? Apple chips? Yeah. What is freeze dried? It, uh, I don't know. No one knows? No. Yeah. That's good. I like this a lot. Yeah. These are like candy. Is freeze dried like, is it healthy? Yeah, there's nothing added to it. It's basically like dried fruit, but no sugar out of these don't have any sugar. It's just the fruit. But I think instead of dried fruit where it's done like with heat in the oven or something. Yeah, they throw it on some like. Dry ice or something. I don't know how they do it. They're, it's good. It's but yeah, good. it's just like eating fruit. Yeah. It's good, yeah. It's... I like those a lot. All right, Alex also got the crispy crunchy okra. This has been in the haul for the last five times. He's loving this one. Okay, this is a new item and I'm really excited to try it. 
I have no idea. I'm gonna make it into tostadas tonight and this straight up just might not work, but I'm very excited to find out. These are almond flour tortillas. So the ingredients are almond flour, tapioca starch, water, apple cider vinegar, natural flavor, salt, and xanthan gum. I think this is supposed to be like Trader Joe's take on like the Siete tortillas, but I am very, very, very excited to try these. If you didn't know, I cook live on YouTube two times a week cooking with Kai. So tonight I'm making fajitas. No, I'm not. I'm not even making fajitas. Did I say fajitas? I'm making tostadas. And so I'm going to try and like fry these a little bit and make it into like a crispy tostada. But either way, if not, it'll just be a taco and it's gonna be delicious. I also got another carton of eggs. We've been doing a lot of eggs recently. There's no surprise there if you watch my hauls. I also got a card. I get all of my cards from Trader Joe's. They have such good cards. They're only a dollar. They're so cute and so unique. So I got a card. I'm gonna send this to a friend. A couple of canned items for my dinner tonight. The first being I got some black olives. I love black olives. I didn't realize I got non-sliced ones. I got regular olives. I don't care. I will eat these anyway. They come. I absolutely love black olives. So these will be going on my tostada as well as refried black beans. These are so good. They have jalapenos in them. It's just black beans, water, salt, spices, and jalapeno peppers. So this will go on the tostadas and it's going to be so yummy. All right. Another new item to try out. They keep coming out with all sorts of crazy things. Key lime kettle popcorn. It says sweet, salty, tart, and tangy. Let's give this a try as well. This one is brand new this summer. This item looks so interesting, but so good. Oh, weird. It's like highlighter yellow. Very interesting color. I really want to love it, but I don't know if I do. Mm. It's not bad. It tastes kind of like pie. It's definitely sweet, but it has quite an artificial lime flavor to it. You can taste like the natural lime flavor for sure, but it's also got like a quite a kick of like a fake lime flavor. No, yeah. They missed the mark on this one. I think they could have done it better. This is not my favorite. Interesting. It's interesting. All right, moving on. Got Alex more sunflower seeds. We get these pretty often as well. He uses these as a snack activity. And then same with gum. He loves chewing gum as a snack activity as well. This gum from Trader Joe's is really good. We've gotten it a couple times now and we really, really like it. So we keep grabbing this as well. Hickama wraps. I'm super excited to have these again. I love the jicama wraps. Honestly, put anything in a jicama wrap and it's delicious. But my thought process here was if the almond tortillas are a total flop and don't work, anything I make can go in this jicama wrap and it's going to be delicious. So I also got a bag of the fajita veggies. These are the fire roast bell peppers and onions. Such a good price for this, but I also really like getting this because if we have leftovers from the tostadas tonight, I can just whip up those veggies as well and make it into a bigger taco salad and that's always really tasty. I also got these and I haven't tried these before yet either and so I'm really excited. These are the strawberry Greek frozen yogurt parfait bars. Greek frozen yogurt bars with strawberries and granola clusters. These look really, really tasty. I I love that it has like granola and real strawberries in there as well. So I'm excited to give these a try. Alex got a couple beers this week. He got Infinite Citra, Citra Hopped Indian Pale Ale. I don't know. I think a lot of the beers at Trader Joe's are local. So I don't know that you can get these everywhere. They have the, where you can like pick your own four pack. So that's always really fun. And then he got two of these Belgian Blonde Rude with Honey beers. So those will be interesting. Might have a little sweet kick. Oh, it does not say Belgian. Beguile Blonde, American Blonde Ale Brewed with Honey. Interesting. I think these ones are local. It says Midwestern on them, so I've got to imagine those are Chicago. All right, we also got the giant Peruvian Inca corn snacks again. These are another really tasty snack we've been super into recently, so we keep grabbing those, as well as watermelon chunks. I was gonna get a whole watermelon. Honestly, if I was looking to be the most cost efficient I could, I would have gotten a whole watermelon, but we wheel our groceries home and carry them, and we didn't need a whole watermelon and <laughs> stuff. So we just got the chunks. I'm gonna put tahini on this. It's one of my favorite snacks. With it being so hot outside, I really wanted something like nice and refreshing. Also got another thing of olive oil. I have that container behind with the spout, which I got from Trader Joe's, which I love, but I ran out. So I needed more olive oil, so I'm just gonna put this in to that container because I love the pour spout on it. And I got a bag of limes. These will be used for my tostadas tonight as well. So these are super, super tasty. I love putting limes in like any Mexican food, especially with like avocado and stuff. Grabbed a couple of lemons. We've been doing a lot of whiskey sours recently, as well as I made like a Greek lemon egg soup. So I like having lemons on hand. And if they start to go bad, I can always just throw them in water, which is easy. All right, got a thing of ground chicken. I'm gonna be using ground chicken for the tostadas tonight. I'll just mix that up with a bunch of spices and do that as like, 
ground beef for tacos kind of thing but then put that onto the tostada so that should be really good also got another cucumber i've been doing a lot of like cucumber with hummus cucumber and salads all sorts of different things so need another cucumber on hand the last two items are new items so i'm excited about both of these that's not true that was a lie the last two items are two items i've never had before one of them is new one of them is just new to me the one new to me is the organic acai packet i am really really excited to try these these are unsweetened acai packets we've been doing a lot of smoothie bowls recently we've had two smoothie bowls out in the last two days and smoothie bowls are expensive i wanted to get these so that we could start making smoothie bowls at home because i think that they're so tasty it's been so good with it being hot outside and so i thought i would grab those and then the last item in my haul is another new candle this candle scent is peach black tea i really like how this one smells to be fair though it's hard for me to find a trader joe's candle that i don't love but I'm really excited about this one. I think it smells so good. And I love that they keep coming out with different scents because they get me every single time. I have to buy them all. I have to. All right, guys, that is my haul for today. I hope you liked it. I hope you saw some new items. If you have any questions about anything, comment down below. As always, go over and follow me on Instagram. I post tons of Trader Joe's content over there as well. And make sure you hit the big red subscribe button. I cook live on YouTube once a week, Tuesdays at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time for Cooking with Kai. And I'd love for you to follow along there as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. He's a good boy, he's a good boy, Trader Joe's home!